Watch it guys, welcome back to the Zeus Dazzle Eliminator Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and for this shit game time I bring you a request from YouTuber Parallax Craze. And he wants me to do Afterburner 2, the Activision European release. Alright mate, hope you enjoyed this uh, review of this shit game time. Now there's two versions of this. There was also an American version, which was by Sega. And that is far superior to this in every way. This is pretty piss poor. And let's just talk about it as we play through it. Crack on with it now. Right, we want music on, sound effects on, blah, blah, blah. Now, as you can see straight away, the play area is puny. It is so small. There's a massive gap of blackness at the bottom of the screen. It's so cropped. And look at the scrolling at the bottom. It's so choppy. Very choppy. It's got bad sampled sound effects. Every time you press the button, it's just, it sounds like it's clicking all the time. And I'm not talking about my joystick. It's the actual bad quality of the sampled noises. You've got voices in it as well, which is more fucking annoying. I mean, I hate to sound a bit rude, but uh, certain Yanks voices can become annoying at the best of times, let alone in this game. I might get slammed for that, but it's true. And I just can't... You can do your turns and everything else, and I think you can get your speed up like that. But it's not... It's just not... It's, it's just a mess. It looks good in stills, but the problem is, as I said, the screen is so small. There's so much um, cut off. It's unreal. Whereas the American version, you still have a bit of cut off at the bottom, but it's vastly bigger in size, the actual screen play area. And it moves smoother, smoother as well. It looks more like the arcade. Far better version than this European Activision crap. And I can just show you there by just keeping the still. It's very choppy. To the point, you can't really see what you're doing. And I don't think I've got any bloody rockets or anything, have I? I'm out. I've got a load of lives. But, yeah, I've got no... I've got no rockets or anything now to blow them. And it's just, nah, it just looks, it looks, it just looks poor. I mean, I wasn't really a fan of it in the arcade, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, it was a good gimmick, you know, with the old cockpit steerer. And the loud and fast speed, the speed of the game, and the loud pumping soundtrack coming through. I could see where the appeal was. But, yeah, it wasn't one of my favourite games. And uh, Mega Drive version is quite good too, if I remember right. I haven't played that for a while. But, uh, yeah, the, the sound effects are just... Terrible samples, cheaply done. So I'm just swaying left and right to... Oh, uh, great. I was just about to say that to avoid all the bullets and I get fucking nailed. So you can go round like that, which uh, shrugs off any heat missiles chasing you. Take that, motherfuckers. And again, how many more lives have I got? One left. And I've got no rockets now, I'm out. So I've got to try and steer through this shit. Try, and I don't. One more life. Let's get some speed. Oh, great. Straight away, game over. Let's have one more crack at it. Music. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. The music's kind of... You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, like Marmite. And I've got to admit, I certainly won't put in it. Won't be putting it through the cast, uh, this, uh, the cast area system anytime soon when I'm burning rubber down the motorways. 
There's some game tracks I will, but this is not one of them. I just can't believe how small the play area is. There's so much cropping going on. At the top, at the sides are definitely, and absolutely at the bottom. You've lost about four inches of screen at the bottom there. It's doing nothing. As you can see, it's just choppy. It's just choppy, it's very rough. This came out in about 1988 on the Amiga, maybe 89 at a push. But it's, yeah, it's not, it's not the best at all. Could have been done better. No, oh, I thought it was coming up to the end of the level there. I am now. Now, me. Just testing them, just just to see if uh, how accurate their rockets are. The animation, the collision detection. So I've got no rockets. I want to blow all those fuckers away, and I can't. Nope. Let's get some speed up. Get your speed up, you've got to press the space bar. Give me some speed up, boys. Yeah. Come on, you fuckers. See, I've only got a basic. Oh, I ran straight into that. Go, 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 boy. Right, I'm on to the next stage. So the coder was by Argonaut. Obviously, I want to leave their real name. Graphics by Focus CE Limited. And the music is by Uncle Art, David Lowe. He's the only name I can find. All the others seem to be fucking aliases. So obviously, he didn't want to be shamed. Fuck you, blew you away, didn't I, motherfuckers? Oh, I've got a load of them nailed me there. animation there as I span round. No, you've definitely got to keep to the American version of this. The, the American Amiga version, that's it. No, I've had enough. Definitely the Amiga version, the American Sega version, if you want to play Afterburner. This is the European or rest of the world version and it is pretty piss poor. You're lucky to, to get past the fourth or fifth stage on it. Whereas the American version is so much smoother, so much bigger play area, much more enjoyable and more convincing. Much looks much more like the arcade. So what am I going to give this on the shitter meter? Um, all the reviews I've had of it as far as forums go don't praise it very well. So taking that into mind, and it's a full price game, I think it was either 1999 or even 2499, because Amiga games tended to be about £5 dearer than Atari SC games. I'm going to give this, um, yeah, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this 84 shits on the shitter meter, 84 diarrhea shits for Afterburner 2 Activision version on the Amiga 500. So there you go guys, that's what I think about this game. Into the vault with shitness it goes, hopefully we'll never see it again. Stick to the American Sega version for if you want to play Afterburner on the Amiga anyway. And that was for Parallax Craze, I hope you enjoyed that review mate. So until next time, uh, happy gaming, enjoy yourselves with all the sort of retro gaming you get on with because it's all fun. Come back to my channel if you will, tons of stuff on there for you to check out. 
and if you want any me any games for me to ship game time then please check out the link below in the description and go to that video and place your requests there i will be um, doing Commodore 64, Spectrum, Amstrad, Mega Drive and Master System games only at this time. As the Amiga, I have to send the disc for the discs to be written and it costs me postage so I'm getting out of pocket and I can't afford it. So until next time guys, as I said, look after yourselves, happy gaming and um, yeah, pop by the channel, check it out. Zeus out.